What's up guys, Pokilocos here once again, and I know I mentioned before on this channel that I wanted to do a uh, pack battle for um, Sun and Moon base set and Brilliant Stars, but I think it'd be a little more fitting to do an, an ETB box battle with uh, the new set uh, Lost Origins and the base set of Sun and Moon, so let's get into it. Let's start opening up these boxes. Gotta open it up here. Hopefully it doesn't drop any more of my equipment as I am moving my stuff over into my room instead of having it in the office because there is air conditioning and it's really hot in California. So let's put this to the side, open this up, and pretty usual what we have in here. We got our uh card packs and here's a code card for you guys and let's pull out these packs all right so that's the sun and moon set now let's open up the lost origins I think it sounded like I said oranges. My bad, guys. It's actually pretty late right now. I had a long day at work, but I didn't want to go to sleep without leaving you guys with some content. So I'm actually going to go through this one a little more in depth only because it's a new set. So here's the Lost Origins Player's Guide, which actually has all of the, the full arts and it has a lot of the secret rares. That Giratina alternative art is insane that is one obviously going to be one of the chase cards in the set the giratina v-star gold and then there's a few of the trainer gallery ones that are also going to be most likely chase cards along with that black and gold chonkachu haven't been able to pull that one myself in rainbow form from vivid voltage but it is what it is here we have our lost origin packs that we're going to be opening up Lost Origins with the gold foil on the inside. That makes these uh, card sleeves a lot nicer. Here's the uh, code card, much nicer. And then here we got some, um, you know, the typical card separators and the energy cards. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back in. For some reason, I like the the boxes when they're popped up more. So I'm gonna put move this over to the side. We'll definitely take a look at these artworks later. So, moving forward, let's get started. I think we should be basically just do one in one, just to make it fair. So, starting off with Sun and Moon base set. Look at that Primarina um, gorgeous artwork. So, let's see what we got in here. Starting off with the Dratini. Here's your code card. One, two, three, and four. Dark tricks. So as you've seen, uh, I've managed to get some some of the new set early. Crabominable, Reverse Hollow, and a Beware. I got it a little early. Um, I, I actually met somebody that's going to be somebody that I, I deal with for my, for my cards and stuff. I've been having to travel pretty much anywhere I possibly can just to get some more uh, stuff I've gone pretty much as far as I possibly can in my car which doesn't actually spend a lot of gas but you know it's always nice to have someone local um, to get stuff from and we got a Del Fox V guys this is awesome that's gonna be our first pull of the day so round one goes to Lost Origins that is awesome this artwork on the new set is amazing you can see the little swirls going around uh, for this set so moving on to round two So yeah, I also uh, managed to get myself some of the brand new set in Japanese. I believe it's supposed to be called Silver Tempest. It's coming out in 
November, I believe, around the time that the new Scarlet and Violet game comes out, which I'm incredibly uh, excited for. No hit on that one. Unlucky, guys. Unlucky. But let's see if Lost Origins can make pick up the slacks and take the take the lead again. So yeah, let me guys let me know if you guys are planning on on playing the new game. Uh, there's obviously going to be some new mechanics for that game that I'm pretty excited for. Um, the uh, the free roaming. Um, world i think that's going to be really cool um so ooh, look at that shift tree so we got a uh regular hollow rare with the nuzleaf popping out of the card that's awesome so obviously round two once again goes to lost origins it seems like it seems like the 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 base set isn't doing as well oh man these cards are these packs are stuck together that or I'm just really bad at it. I used to open them with scissors, but um, I don't know why I stopped doing it with scissors. It seemed like a lot of uh, hassle having to move over and grab scissors from the thing. Let me know if I ramble. I feel like I ramble on these videos. Sometimes I run out of things to do. Once again, no hit for the Sun and Moon base set. Ooh, is the new set gonna take the lead once again let's see what we got here's your code card guys moving on I don't really play too much of anything other than you know the mainline games and mr. mime so I think for that one we're just gonna call it a draw uh, the mainline games that I've gotten from Oh my goodness, I grabbed the wrong ETB. It took me a little bit to... Uh, it took me a little bit to uh, realize that, but this is Sun and Moon. I am so sorry, guys. I don't know why I thought I had the, uh, the uh, other one. Here's a Lily uh, Reverse Rare. Sorry, guys, it's the Sun and Moon base set. I grabbed the wrong ETB by accident. But uh, here we are, that's the base set for the last set, and here we are going through for the new set of the next series. I feel so dumb. I don't know why I, I, I didn't really think about it too much. So don't castize me, guys. Uh, next time I'll get it right. And here we go, another tie unlucky guys moving on to another sun and moon which is funny because i wasn't even doing uh card collecting around this era my little brother was he's the one that kind of showed me like the things that he was pulling and stuff and i didn't think too much of it but uh just recently i i just bought a pack of of go when it first came out and I randomly was able to pull unlucky there I randomly was able to pull the Mewtwo alternative art in the Pokemon Go set and had no idea what what it was I just thought the card was cool looked it up online and that, that's when I realized holy crap I just pulled one of the chase cards in a new set and that's kinda what got me back into this I was uh collecting cards around the roaring skies the x and y era so clearly all this new stuff is so new to me oh we got the magnezone v star secret rare the rainbow rare this is awesome guys look at that the first big pull of the set that is awesome hopefully that's not the only the only goodies that we get in this uh in this set this is sweet guys as you've seen it here first um, the pulls are kinda seem to be doing pretty well sorry guys messing with my light here and I get it there we go uh, the pulls seem to be doing pretty well um, as you've noticed here out of the 
what is it the we have eight packs out of the five packs we've gotten at least two or three pulls out of it so that's pretty good um, hoping to get uh, more stuff out of these sets Sun and Moon once again not doing well let's see if Lost Origins can pick up the slack once again after pulling that that a secret rare that was pretty sweet thanks for sticking with me guys I know I've had quite a bit of technical difficulties with my setup and uh, as you can see I've also changed the volume of my voice for those of you that have started with me on YouTube I just recently started on TikTok. Um, I thought it would be a good way to just do a lot of shorts ooh look at that we got a blip bug and then a blip bug reverse hollow or reverse and we got a Curin V Max that is awesome guys look at that oh I guess I missed one of the cards but we got a Curin V Max this is a sweet card one of the I don't know if it's one of the chase cards but it's definitely one of the nicer cards it's got a bit of a bend but nothing a little uh a little card sleeve can't fix so looks like lost origins is doing incredibly well in this pack battle or box battle i guess you can say we got the incineroar uh the incineroar uh pack pack art um oop. well looks like this won't be a hit either which kind of sucks because you know this is the first time I've opened this set and it's a little disappointing with you know having no hits and an ETB that is eight packs and over here opening up the Lost Origins and getting hit after hit after hit just on one ETB I can't imagine what it'll be like when I when I grab the uh, my booster box tomorrow so Let's just see what else we can get out of this uh, out of this pack. As you saw, that was a white code card, so most likely there won't be a hit, but there could have been in the uh, reverse hollow slot. Obviously, that didn't pop out. So from here on, we have the Decidui pack. Decidui is my favorite starter from Sun and Moon and Gardevoir, shiny Gardevoir. We haven't been able to see any of the radiance in the new set as well, so fingers crossed we can get a double hit pack as well so here is the code card one two three and four as for the last pack for the sun and moon base set let's see what we can pull out of here fingers crossed we actually get something considering this is the last pack and we literally got no hits out of this and oh we got a lapras g x that looks fantastic it's a little bit off center but my goodness this card is amazing i didn't think it would happen but we finally pulled something good out of the sun and moon base set pack that is awesome let's see if we can get the lost origins to to top that see if we can get that uh Giratina alt alternative art. I think that's gonna be my main chase for this set. Not because it's uh it's probably gonna be one of the most valuable cards, but because Giratina just so happens to be one of my favorite uh, legendary Pokemon. Just because I played Platinum, and uh, that game was amazing. It was one of the first ones that. Um, introduced an alternate dimension and I think that alternate dimension was a great idea so we got a mimic you and I think I saw something in the back and we got a magnezone V so there you go we got a magnezone V star and a magnezone V along with the cure and V max in this set and we got that Lapras GX from Sun and Moon make sure you guys like and subscribe let me know um, if you enjoyed watching this box battle I actually have a few more ETBs ready to go so I believe I have fusion strike brilliant stars and an evolving skies one um, make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below what you would like to see on this channel